run that quite right. He spun a little bit when I guess he was supposed to just run straight through it. He ended up turning around. No, he tracked the ball. Uh -huh. You know, we work drills like that every day, just you know, making your ball. I mean, making your body in awkward positions to, to catch the ball. So uh, I don't know if it's the right way to turn when you're tracking it. You know, it's wherever it goes. And, you know, run through the ball, make that play. It's crazy. We make the tough ones and the ones that's easy, you know, that's the toughest one. So, yeah. Yeah, delve into that a little bit. I mean, you can kind of allude to, to the drops there. Is it just is it a mental thing? Is it focus? Kind of what are you yeah, saying? Yeah, it's, it's all mental. Uh, you know, they let the elements get get in their head more than anything. Uh, you know, I'm screaming on the sideline. Use your hands. Use your hands. So on that that fourth down catch, Gary caught. You know, he was showing he can use his hands. <laughs> so, but they, you know, it's it's frustrating. You know, it's it's more frustrating for the kids because they know what I expect. Uh, they just they just gotta make those plays, man. They gotta make them. Against a lot of defenses, you've talked about winning the one-on-one -on -one matchups on the outside. Right. Same thing for this week. Uh, always. You know, when our numbers call, we gotta we gotta make those plays. Uh, you know. Um, it's you know those third down situations. It's not about man coverage or anything. We're good with you know facing press and and all that. Uh, it's just actually coming down with that ball in those critical situations. You've had the chance to coach Pulan for a couple of years now. How important is it for you to see to kind of get to see him go out on a high note and some of the other teammates as well? Yeah, uh, it's real important, man. I'm, I'm gonna miss that kid. Uh, you know, he's a he's a silent worker. You know, rarely complains about anything. Uh, comes out there, busts his butt every single day, uh, and and have an NFL type of pedigree. Take care of the, take care of his body. You never have to tell him to do extra. You know, he's always doing it. Uh, he's a he's not so much of a vocal leader, but he's more of an actions type of guy. You know, I, I have uh, Reggie. You know, paying attention to everything he does as far as work ethic wise and, and you know he's rubbing off on him also but he, he's a kid that I'm gonna I'm I'm miss a lot what do you what do you see for his future you know uh, about six years seven years depends uh -huh. yeah We'll see. <laughs> Sounds good. Texas has sort of done a little bit of everything uh, this year on defense. What's what's your biggest challenge going in against them? Uh, catching the ball on third downs. I'm gonna go back to that. Okay. That's, all, yeah. that's what I'm gonna harp on this whole week. Mm -hmm. Just making those plays when you have to. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm I'm confident with my guys getting open and, and you know catching the tough passes. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just the routine plays. They just got to get accustomed to. You should just make it harder on yourself then. And yeah, I mean, <laughs> you know, it's at the seriously, it's seriously at the point where it's just nothing to be said. They know when yeah. they messed up. They know when they cut a route short. They know when they, they know when they do anything wrong. So they come to the sideline. I, I don't even have to say anything. They, you know, they telling me before I even get there, even if I don't see it. So.